Hey guys, so I have to be honest, I was almost going to make this project and have it in my backdrop as a little bit of an Easter egg just to see if anyone noticed, but I thought it would be fun to actually make it together and, you know, just share my inspiration. Um, this one's going to be a little bit of fun. So if you've seen the hand project I did where I sculpted like um, hands, uh, well I didn't sculpt the hands but I sculpted like the uh, magical wisps coming around the hands and used um, the hands that you can get for like jewellery display and everything to put on the plaque as a little bit of a cheat I know I mean if you're good at sculpting hands go ahead and sculpt or cast or whatever a pair of hands and you can do exactly the same sort of thing as I did but I thought you know I think I'm going to try it this way because it's quicker. Um, the hands already looked kind of like in a magical pose and everything. And anyway, after I did that project, I thought how fun would it be to have just this like random foot coming out of one of them instead of a hand and make it look a bit humorous and a bit funny. So, and that's why I was like, oh, I could just put that in the backdrop and see if anybody notices my little foot that just popped up. Now, this foot looks as creepy as hell, I'm not going to lie. I am going to spray paint this black. I couldn't get a foot that I was happy with that was black. Um, I just, I didn't want one that was like super stylized, so I, I wanted it to look like a foot, and this one did, but I'll link to the one that I bought such a random thing to buy isn't it um <laughs> this didn't quite work out as i hoped i was trying so hard to find another one of these plaques that looked uh, that had a different design on it but i um and i bought one that was bigger than this and then they said they didn't have any stock so they refunded me and then i had to try and buy another one and all i could get was this one and i thought well maybe that'll be big enough and it is a little, look, it's a little tight. <laughs> it's pretty tiny, but I mean, that might add to some of the <laughs> the humor of this foot coming out. Uh, we'll see. I mean, look, if it really doesn't work, I might have to put this whole thing on something larger to hang it up. Hopefully it hangs okay on the tiny little thing that I'm going to have. What I figure I'm going to do, though, is make this look like the foot... Um, like there's a splash that happens around the foot. So it's almost like someone's fallen into this little magic portal and their foot's gotten stuck and there's a splash of whatever's on the other side kind of coming out. And I'm gonna do like similar kind of colors so it does go with the other ones, but I'll add, um, I think, um, slightly different colorings for like the splash. I might go a teal color or something like that. Um, I've got some really nice metallic colors and I want something a little different. So we'll see, I'll, I'll have a look at that at that point. But for now, what I'm gonna do is spray paint this and this. So this is fence wire that I'm using. I got this from uh, Bunnings. It's very similar to the wire that I've used for fairy wings. In fact, I think I've used some of this for fairy wings, but this one's a bit thinner. So I just wanted something a little bit more structural for a bit of an armature for what I'm going to be sculpting. And you'll see why I need that in a minute. So I just tacked it on there with some staples and a bit of glue. Then I drilled a couple of holes so that I could put two screws in there just to make sure it really stayed put. 
I actually went back and redrilled these holes off camera uh, because I just wanted to make sure the head of the screw would sit down further and my husband had a different drill bit that I could use to just make a little bit of a groove in there that the head of the screw could sit into. There's drill bits you can get that allow you to do that. And this is my favorite epoxy sculpt. I love this stuff. You guys know I've used this in a bunch of different projects now. And you can see I've got two massive tubs of the stuff now. So I would say with uh, epoxy sculpt, the great thing is that you can do this bit by bit. And I definitely recommend that you do that because if you don't use up the clay before it starts to set um, or sculpt it into place by the time it starts to set, you might get in trouble and yeah, you might waste some clay. So I actually did this in two or three. It was definitely at least two. I think possibly I did three different um, sections. So I started off with just filling in the base of the foot with some epoxy sculpt and I let that dry. It just made it uh, really structurally sound and it kept the wire in place where I wanted it. It just made it a bit easier then to go in and start sculpting some of the rest of what I'm doing. And I really do like this black epoxy sculpt. I think because I tend to like the dark aesthetic uh, having it black is very helpful. Now you can see I'm starting to sculpt up those pieces of wire. So those um, bits of wire are going to be where I start to sculpt the splash. So I'm trying to uh, maneuver them in such a way that looks a little bit like a natural splash would. And that's going to take some adjusting as you go along. I found it easier to look at it from different angles. So I would sculpt, you know, some of the uh, sections of my splash, but then I would look at it front on as well. And I might even bend the wire to different uh, angles so that it flowed together and it didn't look disjointed. If you're not sure how to best sculpt a splash, um, and I did do this as well. I, I recommend looking up something on uh, Google, an image of a splash to get an idea of what they look like. And what you might notice is that with a lot of splashes, they get these little droplets on the end of the little splashes. And so that's also why that wire really helped me um, because then I could make it really, really thin um, before that droplet and the wire would keep it nice and structural. If I didn't have that wire, it would be too brittle and thin and probably break. So definitely worth using the wire if you're going to do some sculpting as thin as what I'm doing. And a splash is going to be random. So another thing to think about is to make sure that all of your splashes are a little bit randomized, but they would probably move in unison of, of each other. So they, they'd move out from a central location and, you know, move quite smoothly and not look too jagged or disjointed. Great thing about epoxy sculpt is if you make any mistakes or it's not as smooth as you like, you can sand it. So. That's what I was doing there. I used um, my Dremel as well with a little sanding disc. And then I just spray painted it all with my black spray paint afterwards. Even though it's black, I did want it to have that nice glossy uh, finish that the spray paint gave. Now, I love me some Art Alchemy paints and that's what I used for this. I'll list down below uh, in the description box all the different paints that I used so that if anyone wants to use the exact same colours they definitely can uh, but I don't have the list of the names of the colours in front of me but I have always enjoyed the Art Alchemy not sponsored, wish I was and I've used uh, a blue I've used a tealy green one and then on the edges of the drops um, like on the very ends and things, I used a rubbing 
wax in a dark silver color and then I used rub and buff silver which is a bit brighter of a silver on the very tips of those droplets this just gives it a bit of dimension because if you just had it all one block color it just wouldn't have that same um, dynamic dimension to it that sense of movement and I also used uh, an opal rubbing wax on the foot itself the same one I used for the other pieces so that it tied in and I did the same colors that I did for the hands uh, the hand pieces as well uh, I used a rubbing bronze and then a gold you know uh, rubbing wax as well and then I just drilled it um, and put a screw through to attach it to the wall or at least my husband did. <laughs> I'm really happy with this project. Again, it was just a bit of fun. I love the idea of these really mystical, uh, amazing, magical hands and then this foot coming out. I just think that that just tickles me in all the right places. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I hope it's inspired you for a little bit of fun whimsy that you can put in your house, in your studio, wherever you like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more weirdo whimsical things from me. And for the rest of you, I'll see you next time in Feywood. Bye guys.